Hi, my name is Tom Prowse and I'm a data school consultant at the Information Lab. Today I'm going to be covering data sampling within Tableau Prep. Sampling data within the input tool can be really useful and help improve the efficiency of your workflow whilst you're make, uh, building changes, especially when you have large amounts of data. So uh, I've just inputted the Tableau SuperSaw data set here. So we've got the orders within our Tableau Prep workflow. As you can see, when I click here, we have almost 10,000 rows of data. Um, this isn't too much for Tableau Prep, but let's just say we want to take a sample of this. What options do we have? So if we click on the orders input tool, notice how we've got a data sample selection here. If I select here, we've got a few different options which we can do for the data sampling. Initially, Tableau automatically uh, sets a default sample amount. So this is Tableau prep um, sampling the data in the best possible fit. Um, so this helps to improve performance and uh, helps to um, helps Tableau prep to function. However, sometimes we do want to use all of our data. Therefore, we can use the second option here. And this will use all of our data um, no matter what. And Tableau prep won't use the default sample amount. However, sometimes we do just want to make a kind of a quick sample of our data and for a specific amount of rows. We can do this with the fixed numbers. So if I type in a thousand here, for example, and then click back onto our clean step, notice how we only have 1000 rows now instead of just under 10,000. So this is really useful when um, working through large amounts of data because you can sample it down, run our workflow, and then it really improves uh, performance. Again, there's two different sampling methods. Um, by default, we use the quick select. So this is Tableau um, sampling data in the kind of for performance. So it's going to be a return in the quickest possible method. There are some um, limitations to this where it won't use data from the whole data set. So therefore it may not be a representative sample. Therefore, we would probably want to use the rate of the random sample if you wanted um, a sample to be from the whole data set. Um, but this may impact performance, as Tableau mentioned just here. And that covers pretty much everything within the sample tool. So thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it will help you out in the future. Um, if you enjoyed it, remember to subscribe to our channel and take a look at the next video in this series on the wildcard union.